Censorship, self censorship they do it all the time. They're doing it so now why, with something else. So why I mean. aren't they in this case? That's the question. Because they're afraid someone why else will get different? the scoop. Honestly, they're afraid someone else will get it um, and get the information and we'll all go there. So their integrity as a news organization and doing the right thing is not as important as one up in the other network. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let me see that. Simply He's that. in New York. Good morning to you, John. Good morning, Zoraida. Yeah, that's right. There may be a ray of hope right now in the fiscal cliff. Okay. Oh, okay. We just cliff. missed it. They did their fiscal cliff. Very curious what the angle is today for all these news networks. Mm. And then these guys capitalizing like Dr. Oz and fucking Dr. Phil. Like, you ratings fucking vulture. That's what it is. You cocksucker so why, vulture. And so, that's so obvious. So why are we on the, the low end of the old totem pole? No, we're fucking... we're looked at like the scourge of society, and then you, we we have no desire to go up there and do some kind of radio show. You we're, know what I mean? We're, we're pieces of shit. Can you imagine it's, it's if we went there and did a radio show? Can oh you imagine God. what people but, would say? But we have no desire to right. do that because there's no phony reason that they're giving to be up there. Doctor Phil, I'm going to go up there and talk to children and and to comfort people. No, you're doing this for fucking ratings. Of course. Was he really there, Sam? Is that it? Yeah. This fucking cheese dick motherfucker. Ugh. And the stories are already coming in. You know, they're arresting, um, yeah, they're arresting kids here and there for uh, copycat threats. It puts it in their yeah. mind. We know this. And then the news covers that. This is that. something we know. The kids basically tell law enforcement when they're arrested. <laughs> we know this is part of it. Is Dr. Phil on Twitter? Yeah, he's a cunt. Oh. Oh, he certainly is. What's his name? Dr. Phil? Is just Dr. Know. Phil? Let's get some Dr. Phil tweets going. Dr. Phil. Let him, let him know how you feel about him being uh, up there, huh? You got a promo town. for his show? I got to hear his angle. Oh, oh yeah. Let's hear what his fucking reason Phil. This community has been rocked by tragedy. I met family face to face to help them. I think um, the parents to help that them. have kids that didn't make it. How can they heal? The gunman was in my son's classroom. He is petrified. Another Can you pause this? Gonna come here for him. He's not helping anyone. It's uh, too. It's too new. God. There's no way he's helping people. What we need to pause. And and notice. Oh, this notice. Is, he's trying so hard to say that the reason he's doing this is to help. It, it happened two days ago. Yes. Three days ago. How are you, help? are you helping? You're, You're still helping. grieving. You're not this helping. Is, this is a conversation maybe you have down the road a month or two. It's not helping anyone. No. What a hateable fuck this guy is. He's Don't not buy helping. these people. And listen how many times he's, every time he talks, he's trying to justify him yeah. being there. And the, the reason he's there only a few days after it happened is, yes, as a nation, we will move on, unfortunately, to other things. That's a fact. And secondly, it's because it's so raw. He's going to get a lot more emotion and people crying. Right. He's yes. not helping yes. anyone. Ugh. Fuck, I just, I just, you know, I just want to educate more and more people uh, about the media in general. But you're part of the media. I think we do it a little yeah. differently, and I think we've proven it over the years, believe it or not. We are what we are. We've never fucking hid behind some fake bullshit. No. That's fucking despicable. He's, a disp he's on Twitter as Dr. Phil. People, honestly, because everybody reads their at mentions. I don't care who you are. Yes, you we do. We all read our at mentions. If you're on Twitter, you're reading a fucking thing. I would absolutely Not me. let I, him know. I don't read my <laughs> at mentions. Too many haters. Got to keep it fucking, <laughs> fucking uh, clean, man. Let's hear what else he's got to uh, say. This is so. Tell our children. Do you feel any fear about going back to school? They just don't want that to happen again. Oh, boy. All new Dr. Phil. I hope it's an all-new Dr. Phil. <laughs> I fucking hope so. <laughs> How stupid would this be if it was from June and you went to Newtown for no reason? Are you scared to go back to school? No, why would I, Phil? Didn't warn everybody. I would have I, I I went, what do you think, Dr. Phil? Yeah, yeah. Dr. Phil, what do you think? No, actually, I, I can't wait. You dummy. Yeah. Oh, my God. I don't want to miss the Winter Festival. <laughs> fucking idiot. Holy fuck. Fucking idiot. Idiot. Oh, look, do what you and you know what? Do what you have to do, but don't fucking make believe it's for some other reason. Oh, that's what he, you know, because if he said the real reason, he would fucking be the scourge of society. For some reason, these dumb fucking cunt housewives that watch him are like, oh, Dr. Phil is going up to talk to the poor Thank people. God. Oh, he's such a good man. Did you see the Dr. Phil? <laughs> oh, God. 
What a piece of shit. He's hateable, right? Yeah. Fuck Dr. Phil. Uh, Would you leave cum on his mustache? Yes. <laughs> you Jeffrey Tambor-looking motherfucker. <laughs> Shave the stupid mustache. You're creeping out the kids. Oh, God. Holy fuck. Asshole. Uh, it's just so much phoniness. And it's not even that deep. We're not geniuses exposing shit here, people. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, <laughs> slow, down. <laughs> slow down. What the fuck? This is so fucking transparent and shallow Anybody can see what their their motives are here. Why isn't there more fucking mean outrage? Assault rifles uh, in this country. Well, there are so many Democrats who right now are talking about uh, gun restrictions. That's why these particular uh, rifles are flying off the shelves. Uh, last weekend, Colorado State flying set a rifles. new record for single day <laughs> background checks at, in San Diego at the Northwest Armory gun store. Biggest day they'd had in 20 years. Keep in mind, this is Saturday, the day after Newtown. And in Southwest Ohio at a gun show in Cincinnati, the, the building was full. They had a lot line of 400 people out the door. There you go. Now keep in mind, there was in this country an assault weapons ban that went into effect back in 1994. And Alan Gottlieb uh, from the Second Amendment Foundation was asked last night on the O'Reilly Show whether or not that assault weapons ban really did much in the way of Slowing. All right, let me go to this now. The president has asked Vice President Biden to take the lead in examining the country's gun laws. Oh, Outspoken gun okay. control yeah. advocate, New York City Mayor Mike Bloomberg, had this to say yesterday. Gun violence is a national epidemic and a national tragedy that demands more than words. We are the only more industrialized country that has this problem. In the whole world, the only one. And that's why we need immediate national action from the president and from Congress. It should be at the top of their agenda. But it won't be. It, it, it's not going to change, people. There you go. Uh, the, the guy in Fox said it. <clears throat> everyone, it went be... out, everyone went out. Not everyone, but a lot of people went out and, and, went and got guns. Because, mark my words, there will be another assault weapons ban. This will spur yeah. it on. There will be an assault weapons ban. If you go out now... And buy uh, what they consider a, an assault weapon, which is you know a semi-automatic uh, rifle that uh, looks like a military rifle, but isn't. Doesn't act like one. It just looks like one. If you go out and buy one right now, um, it will increase in value by at least tenfold after the ban. So it's almost like you're making a investment. fucking investment because the the way these um, the way these weapon bans work, they're they're grandfathered in. As long as you own them. Sure. You uh, can keep them. They don't go around collecting your weapons. If they did, that'd be a huge fucking issue. But what they do is they ban the sale of these after a certain date. So whatever's already in the marketplace can still be sold. Uh, you cannot um, sell new ones uh, after the date of the ban. So people are going out and fucking buying them. Uh, I, as a matter of fact, have looked at a few that I'm considering purchasing because I know I won't be able to purchase them after a ban. And there's a couple of rifles that I kind of wanted for my collection that I've been putting off that I will probably buy in the very near future because I know I won't be able to after this ban is in place. You're a prepper, man. I'm a prepper. No, I'm yes, a, I, for I, bulls I, and doomsday. <laughs> <laughs> like anything else that people like variety in, I like a variety of, of weaponry because I enjoy shooting different types of guns. It's, it's fun. It's uh, challenging. It's, a, it's, um, it's a, a good way to, you know, just enjoy some fucking time that I have at the range. Do you think the two sides should meet in the middle or not? <clears throat> We got a lot of people out there that, you know, ha have a problem with guns now. Here's what I think people should do. Uh, have a little dialogue about what is what will honestly make a difference? You can't, a couple of days after tragedy, come up with an answer to a question that has, has been uh, a quandary for people for years. Ain't going ain't gonna to happen. I don't think an assault weapons ban is the answer to these problems, quite frankly. Um, I think that's where we're headed. Uh, and I think people are going to be sorely disappointed at the result if that's all that we're doing is banning what they call assault weapons i think they are going to be gravely disappointed 
and uh, it, 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 delusional to think that that is going to stop these things from happening. I hate to say it. I think it's kind of an empty gesture in the end. It is. I, I, it's I mean, symbolic, if where, any, nothing else. My, where I sit today, mm-hmm. I would rather them focus on making the schools way safer. Way safer. Uh, uh, but... My, uh, someone was uh, fu- fucking giving me some numbers yesterday, and wow, billions of dollars we're talking. My my billions of dollars. Yeah. My buddy last night was also telling me some suggestions that have been knocked around. Uh, you go into a bank, it's very secure, right? You know, and that's for cash. How about for fucking kids in schools? Well, uh, have uh, have <laughs> things like safe rooms. Maybe reinforce the bathrooms. Where you can shove every fucking kid in there, close the door, it's reinforced, there's a phone in there, you could call the police, and they are safe in that room. It's a safe room. It's a money issue. Uh, it's it, a money issue. Exactly. To do that for every school. That's you're... But if people don't want armed people on campus or that, there's other ways to secure the kids. Make every classroom like a, a bank teller where, where the, the door is locked. At all times, with maybe a, a code keypad to get in. There's bulletproof glass on the window. Money. It's of course. It's all about money. No, but I, ways, I mean these are all great ideas. But Don't there's get me wrong. ways to keep but, a gunman from the, a barrier between the gunman and the right, students. Right. At any given moment. The only That's problem is we have a, fi- a fire but, or something. I know it's not like a crazy right, right. idea, but how do you exactly. get, get the everybody in and out quickly? Uh, well, exactly. But but you know the. Fireproof the schools. Most of the schools it would be yeah. pretty tough to burn them down anyway. That's where my outrage is today. I, I, you know, everyone's yelling and screaming for change and this and that, and I, I just don't, I just don't believe in our country enough to think that we could, will absolutely uh, make significant change. They won't change at all. This gun control, control mental issue. illness will be completely out of control. Yeah. Fucking, uh, your kids will not feel uh, safe in school anymore. They, they barely felt safe before this. They'll, they'll make some little changes here and there. The gun issue, fuck no, man, because neither side wants to listen to each other. They, they could do all the banning they want. The truth of the matter is that it's not sound-minded people that are doing this. They don't acknowledge your fucking laws. The problem is when something like this happens, nothing does change. It, it's like It's almost like it's an excuse... For the country to have the same arguments over, yeah. it's a over talking point. Over again. Literally, these dead children have just become a talking point. Right, like like people with guns, and, and they believe it. Say, well, if someone there was a gun, would have stopped it. And people who don't like guns say, well, if there's no guns, you couldn't have shot. Yeah, yeah. And nothing gets done. It's, it's, right. it's exhausting. It's exhausting. That's why I don't yeah. like talking politics. When I, well, when I'm not here, I know it's kind of important to the radio show because nothing ever gets done. Nothing changes. No one ever makes. Uh, no one ever says. You know what? You made a good point there. No yeah, one ever yeah. says that when you're talking politics, Never. fucking abortion, gun control, all that shit. Because every good they point... just wait for that person to stop talking so they can make their point. Every good point they make is a bad point that I can't make. Right. right. Like every, it's 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 almost like people mm. think there's ten total points, and if you get one, there's only nine possibly left. Nobody goes back and forth. No, yeah. No one ever says that. You know what? That's that's interesting. Or that's yeah. a good point. I want to hear more about that. We'll agree to disagree is as close as they come. Oh, Christ. That's as close as they come. Well, the the anti-gun um, end of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, they, they absolutely have the upper hand right now. Yeah. I mean, the NRA isn't even talking. They, by the way. They are not they even have been, talking. They have also, they, despicable, <clears throat> fucking cowardice from that organization. Because this is a time where, even though they're going to say, well, we were mourning like other Americans... Everybody knows mm. their agenda is being talked about, and those fucking pussies haven't come out and said one thing in support of the families. Nothing. They, 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 they absolutely should have said They're something. Despicable. Something fucking should cowards. have been said. So they just clammed up. Uh, they're not saying anything, but they, they definitely, the, uh, the anti-gun side has, has the upper hand right now because the emotions running rampant. Everyone's talking about mm, gun control. So- they could put a bill through to ban certain weapons right now and they would have a good chance of getting it passed because, uh, on the tail, on the, uh, the heels of this, it's just, everyone wants it. But what, is it really going to work? Is it a real solution to this? No. I don't see this working. And the next, time it happens there's going to be more talk about what what other guns can be banned what other situations can be, would it, it would it be uh, just a band-aid on the on the wound 
I, it would help people's peace of mind until the next they would, fucking shooting. They would have peace of mind. Absolutely. Till the next shooting. Till the next shooting. But yeah. There, there were, would certainly be a shitload of guns out there that could do some And believe damage. me, everyone that thinks about uh, assault weapons, um, they, uh, the, the anti-gun people, they don't know what it is. They honestly think it's a machine gun. They think it's a military machine gun that's full automatic and firing giant bullets at uh, horrific rates of fire. Right. They also have no idea that a, a assault weapon ban does not mean you cannot have them. It means you can't buy new ones. Right. But but it doesn't mean you can't have them. They think that the, the police are going to knock on everyone's door and go, uh, get, get your assault weapons, give them to me. Right. That's not going to happen either. Yeah, we, well, you know, I, I said it yesterday. We set ourselves down this road a long time ago, way before we were on this planet, hundreds of years ago. Yeah. It's going to be really tough to <laughs> curtail. The gun culture in America. We are a nation of. Um, we really we, we do have a gun culture here. We have our nation was built on it. It was. It's been looked at um, in a a kind of heroic way. To the guy with the gun, the sheriff in the old west, the uh, the soldier, the the uh, dirty Harry. You know all that stuff. And I'm not. I'm absolutely not saying movies. I'm just pointing out that we do have a gun culture. Whether that's a, a, a horrific bad thing, I don't know. Whether it contributes to what's going on, I guess, but that's who we are. Right. Until we could change the entire nation, I mean, that's part of, like, the Japanese will buy girls' panties out of fucking vending machines. We love our guns. That's a part of who our nation is. And we'd buy those out of the vending machine, too, of by the way. Of course we would. <laughs> Newtown's Board of Education describing how she feels just hollow to our Wolf Blitzer. Oh, it's been horrific. Uh, from the moment we all heard the news, it was devastating to know that someone had come into the school with a gun. That alone was horrible I would hope that's because horrifying. it's a yeah. place of peace and joy. But now, as we go forward and we've learned the names and now we're going through the grueling process of the funerals, um, it's very, very, very hard. We, everyone uses the word hollow. That's where we're at right now. But we know that. A big step hollow. in the recovery process for Newtown students and their... Hit Look at them. They're just fucking... Uh, the no. private moments, these private moments people are trying to have and there's just, there's not... They choose getting the story over an ounce of dignity. And it's not about right. getting the news to people, because that's their job. Students to school today, Soledad. There will be a two-hour delay. And students, parents, teachers may be a little anxious returning back to school. Oh, don't worry. There'll but be plenty of cameras on the kids walking into yeah. school. Just in, in case a gunman shows up, they'll get it on video. Part of the suckers. healing process. As you mentioned, Sandy Hook Elementary students will still remain out. I just wonder what the 43rd president makes of all this. Uh, President Bush, George W. Bush, has stayed uh, quiet. Uh, he, the assault weapons ban expired uh, during his presidency. Uh, just keeps going and going. All right. Yeah, well, it's good they could tie Bush into it. The, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. The, the, um, uh, we got a guy that says arm and train the custodial staff. I don't uh, know about you, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah, the, <laughs> the custodians I knew in school. Uh, thank I don't you. want them with a gun. How about <laughs> everyone think about the custodians from their school right yeah. now? Would you want them armed? I want the custodian from fucking... Uh, Breakfast club <laughs> <Right>. to be armed. <laughs> I remember one custodial worker in my, I think it was my grammar school. He was the one that loved chestnuts. Yes. Couldn't wait to, you know, cook up some chestnuts for everyone. Chestnuts. <laughs> what the fuck? You want him armed? You know, these fucking moments that people have when you want to maybe kneel down in front of a, a memorial and and pay your respects or, or just grieve I, and put something down or light a candle. Do you honestly think... These people want cameras in their fucking face mm. and to be questioned mm. once, once. Get the fuck out. Leave them alone. I know I'm interrupting you with a. Mm. What? I watched a lot yesterday. People yeah. are coming from all over the place and, and you get the feeling they kind of want to be on camera. Oh, I'm sure some of them do. But I mean, the ones that are directly affected? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. But Let's you got people along. that are kind of going there. Well, they wouldn't be there if the cameras weren't there either. And they best. How many times did you hear, uh, where did you come from? And it's a faraway place. Why? I just felt like I. Because you're a to mental be patient. Here. The people that come there from miles away are insane. So, I, but the one I think your point 
you know, the ones uh, closer to the situation, of course not. Yeah. And I, you know, we got to be fair. I mean, I think, I think there's a purpose to cover some of this stuff. It's just the over the top and just like. Don't worry, we're all sad. Like, just right. I don't think they're sad enough. I we, we I it. think we can find more stuff. The music's not somber enough when you show the faces of the children. Well, the, the oh, that music it. shit drives me nuts. Oh. And then the uh, NBC uh, NBC Today show. Somebody tweeted me last night the graphic they got for this. Oh no, <laughs> what was it? How about you just fucking put a little graphic? It's it's just all the all. You know, oh, all the kids like faces and shit. It, it's and... just the fire and fi- it's oh, just like mayhem. doom. And, it's a doom and gloom uh, NBC Today Show logo. <sighs> what is this? And yeah, what is this? Oh, you're just coming up with some uh, somber have, music. There's a folder that's just sad news. Bits. We'll we'll be back with more from. Oh my god! This is what Bob should fucking yeah. play in the background when he ever he calls us, <laughs> guys. Uh, Oh, jeez, it doesn't look good. It's holy Jesus. I... And, you know, if you get some of these guys at a bar, they would probably tell you they'd rather hear zippity doo da zippity A. Of course. They're very, very happy all the all the camera time they're getting. Well, one they thing. got a lot of eyes on them. One thing that gets exposed uh, with these idiots because they can't fucking keep the, the facade up long enough. Uh, whenever they're doing a live shot of somebody and, and it's so crowded with press there. That there's other press in the background. So you'll see the woman, you know, talking about it and being, being very somber. But then off in the background, you'll see another news guy talking with his pals, and he's, like, laughing about shit. Right. And in two seconds, he'll be on camera going, oh, oh just a, a somber, hollow mood here. Right. Oh, boy. Meanwhile, in, behind him is another guy just uh, right. laughing they, with his cameraman. They've been around a few of these people. They can't right. wait to get to the bar and, and drink their faces off and oh, fuck each other. Oh, boy. Exactly. wonder what bar they're all hanging out at. Yeah. Oh, right. So. Fucking pricks. That fucking pricks. There's something else. Um. 